Call to order the Danville City Council meeting for June the 3rd, 2012. Madam Clerk, would you call the roll, please? Reverend Campbell? Here. Mr. Gilstrap? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Vice Mayor Luther? Here. Dr. Miller? Mr. Raleigh? Here. Mayor Saunders? Mr. Shanks? Here. Mr. Tomer? Here. Invocation tonight will be given by Buddy Raleigh. I ask you to stand for that invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Uh, Father in heaven, we thank you for another day and your gift of life. Uh, Father, we uh, thank you for these opportunities that we can come together and do the business of the city of Danville, uh, for the citizens uh, that live here. Uh, we just pray for your guidance and wisdom as we uh, make these decisions. Uh, we thank you so much, Father, uh, for the positive things that are going on in our city. Uh, we, we just look to move forward and uh, we just pray for your guidance and direction. Be with us tonight uh, as we conduct this business. In your name we pray, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight we have a special recognition as we welcome back Mark McFadden, who's been here before, to uh, highlight the importance of National Ride to Work Day. And I'd like to read a proclamation which was uh, put together by our mayor for tonight, and I'll only read one of the whereases. Whereas scooters and motorcycles use comparatively less fuel, cause less pollution, and have little impact on our infrastructure, and scooters and motorcycles require only a fraction of the space taken by other vehicles to park, thereby addressing an ongoing shortage in our city, and the price of fossil fuels is growing, and the supply is diminishing, and the use of fossil fuels continues to damage our health by adding to pollution and risking our future through global warming, and our infrastructure repairs fail to keep pace with its degradation, and for these important reasons, scooters and motorcycles offer a form of daily transportation and it should be encouraged. Therefore, I, Sherman M. Saunders, Mayor of the City of Danville, Virginia, hereby proclaim Monday, June the 18th, 2012, as Ride to Work Day and encourage scooter and motorcycle riders to ride to work on, the day, on that day in an effort to highlight the positive daily use of scooters and motorcycles. This document is dated today and signed by Mr. Saunders. We welcome back Mark McFadden, who is the Motorcycle Safety Coordinator at uh, DCC, sitting by a fellow biker out there, a city employee, and uh, I won't talk anything else about the mayor and his, but his son. He's touchy. All right, thank you very much and congratulations. Appreciate you doing this again. At this moment uh, in our, in our uh, process, we allow citizens who want to speak on items that are not on the agenda to come forward. Uh, anything not on the agenda is fair game. Uh, we do limit the time a little bit. If you want to speak on an item that is on the agenda, you can be heard when that item is considered. Is there anyone here who would like to speak on any item not on the agenda? Yes, sir. Come forth and state your name and your address, please. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, I come tonight with great joy and pleasure and satisfaction. Could I get your name to and address? Oh, yeah, that's right. Reverend George H. Lovins. I am the proud owner of the uh, Winslow Love and Care over on uh, 709 Bed Street. And I come with the privilege of inviting all city council members, city manager, all of you all to the grand opening on June the 22nd. Uh, rest assured that you all have received you all's invitation to come and it starts that Friday morning at 9.30 and I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you all there to join in and help us 
in this celebration and the dedication of the building back to Dr. Winslow and to the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. We all have the uh, invitation and remind you that the location is at 709 Betts Street. And uh, we had two people, Alonzo, you were first, and then Buddy. I just want to say, Mr. Lovers, I had the opportunity of touring the Winslow Hospital. Done a phenomenal job. I understand that there, when you first walk in the door on the day of the grand opening, there may be some more special dedication, so I look forward to being there. Thank you for all that you do for our community. Thank you, Mr. Vice Mayor. Mr. Uh, Mr. Lovers, I hope you were able to get my email. I'm going to be out of town that week, uh, but I wish you the best, and thank you for uh, your diligence uh, in putting all this together. Yes, sir. Any other comments? Thank you, sir, for coming forward. Then we'll move on with the agenda. First item is the minutes from our council meeting that was held on May the 3rd. Move for approval. Okay, and it was seconded by John. Uh, the original motion was made by Mr. Campbell. All in, uh, we'll call the vote, please. Reverend Campbell? Aye. Mr. Gilstrap? Aye. Mr. Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Luther? Aye. Dr. Miller? Mr. Raleigh? Aye. Mayor Saunders? Mr. Shanks? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. The next item is a list of 22 appointments. They've been gone over twice by, with council members and the uh, committee on appointments. And I have uh, consulted with the city attorney. We can read them all as one motion, but we must read all the names. We can't just say we adopt item A. So uh, Buddy Raleigh has yes. agreed to uh, clear his throat, drink some water. Yes, and I've got plenty here. Uh, Mr. Vice Mayor, I move that we adopt the following appointments to city boards and commissions. A resolution reappointing John C. Lippert as a member of the Airport Commission, reappointing Eugene F. Jackson, Jr. as a member of the Airport Commission, reappointing L. Hampton Wilkins as a member of the Airport Commission, appointing Frank T. Grogan III as a member of the Danville Community College Board of Trustees, Reappointing Richard G. Barkhauser as a member of the Danville Development Council. Reappointing James K. Turpin as a member of the Danville Utility Commission. Reappointing W. Jeffrey Liverman as a member of the Danville Utility Commission. Reappointing Fred O. Shanks III as a member of the Danville Utility Commission. Reappointing Daniel L. Angel as a member of the Danville Pennsylvania County Community Services Board. Reappointing Mary Lee White as a member of the Danville, Pennsylvania County Community Service Board. Reappointing Carlos A. D'Aristazabal as a member of the Danville, Pennsylvania County Policy and Management Board. Reappointing Linda Polk as a member of the Danville, Pennsylvania County Community Policy and Management Board. Reappointing Christopher K. Wiles as a member of the Dan River Alcohol Safety Action Program. Reappointing Jeffrey V. Haley as a member of the Institute for Advanced Learning and Research. Reappointing Betty M. Smith as a member of the Social Services Advisory Board. Appointing Ernestine Payne as a member of the Social Service Advisory Board. Reappointing L.G. Larry Campbell, Jr. as a member of the Transportation Advisory Committee. Reappointing Albert K. Buddy Raleigh, Jr. as a member of the West Piedmont Planning District Commission. Reappointing Gary P. Miller as a member of the West Piedmont Planning District Commission. Appointing Albert K. Buddy Raleigh, Jr. as a member of the Metropolitan Planning Organization. Reappointing Fred O. Shanks III as a member of the Metropolitan Planning Organization. And appointing Adam J. Tomer as a member of the Dan River Business Development Center. Is there a second? Kim. Um. Let's have a roll call, but I will remind those of you who are mentioned in here who are council members, you may vote for yourself. There's no problem and no conflict, so go ahead. Mr. Gilstrap? Aye. Mr. Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Luther? Aye. Dr. Miller? Mr. Raleigh? Aye. Mayor Saunders? Mr. Shanks? Aye. Mr. Tomer? Aye. Reverend Campbell? Aye. Although we'll take no votes tonight on our new business, uh, we do have two items for first reading, and one involves a public hearing. That is the consideration of authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds in the maximum principal amount of $36,800,000 to finance the acquisition, construction, and or equipping 
various capital projects for the city of Danville. I uh, open the public hearing on this. Anyone wish to speak? <coughs> oh, let's come on up, sir. I do ask you to state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, my name is Don Madison. I live at 251 Grove Park Circle. I recognize that uh, my knowledge of uh, what we're going to be considering here is limited to what I've read in the newspaper, which I guess is somewhat risky. <laughs> However, um, it's my understanding that basically what you're going to be voting on tonight is, a, is authorizing a line of credit for the city. And what I would uh, ask you to consider, if you haven't already, is in those areas of the different categories that if you uh, would limit the amount, let's just say in the case of uh, general capital expenditures, you can authorize up to $6 million. Well, why not limit that to $3 million? Because I think it's human nature that if you have $6 million, you're probably going to spend six. But if you limit it to six, uh, three, you're going to obviously not be able to do that. So I would ask in light of the city's financial status and condition that wherever possible you limit that line. Thank you. Anyone else would like to speak? Again, I remind you, we're not voting on this tonight. It will be uh, the next time. Yes. Can I speak to? Yes. To. Yes. Yeah. You want to go? Ahead? Let's get a motion on the floor, and then we can okay. talk. And if All he right. wants to respond, that'll be fine. Can we get a motion? If you can close the public hearing. Yeah. I already closed it once, but I missed somebody. Okay. I need a motion for first reading. Well. There is, there is one. It, yeah, there's Larry had it, a Okay. I'll just wait for you. All right. I'll make a motion. It doesn't matter. All right. And a second. Is it Mr. Campbell? Did you? Okay. All right. We have a motion on the floor. We're not voting. Buddy, uh, go ahead. I just want to make sure that people understand that this is the limit that we could do, but any appropriation that we have against this, we have to vote on that appropriation. Is that correct? That's, so that's when, correct. It, when it comes to six million, that's the max we can do, but when we appropriate money, it has to come back to a vote to be a done. It, in, 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 in increments. Uh, but I, I think we've done this in the past. I think we've been very uh, diligent uh, in the way we look at it uh, to spend money. But it, it, this is something that we have to do to begin with, and then we look at each project as they come along to see what the merit is to be uh, appropriated for. Mr. Vice Mayor, just as a technicality and to satisfy any nervousness bond council might have, it might be proper to, for them to go ahead and read the entire ordinance as a first reading. Okay. I'll read it. May I move that we adopt an ordinance authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds with the seat of Danville, Virginia, and the maximum principal amount of Thirty-six million eight hundred thousand to finance the acquisition, construction, and/or equipping of of various capital projects for first reading. You still second that, Mr. Campbell? Yes. Okay. Thank you. This this is not unusual for us to do this. The uh, limits um, and the way I read the material, a lot of this is in our capital improvement budget which is a self-limiting thing itself. And um, if we don't pass it by the end of this month, we'll lose the ability to issue these bonds. And if I'm not mistaken, a substantial part of this is to refinance current bonds, which will save us well over half a million dollars, 600,000 or so. And, and, and I'll call on Mr. King if you have any other comments to make, because this really hasn't been discussed much before. and. Uh, having the public hearing tonight uh, before we've talked about it very much. It uh, caught some folks unawares. So uh, break out that 36800000 and how and why are we doing this? Well, the uh, total amount is the absolute 
maximum that the city council could uh, issue in bonds. Each bond issuance requires a separate action and that is considered by city council on its own merits. Uh, the city charter is already much more restrictive than the state. So if you're comparing uh, Danville with other cities, any other city in Virginia, by virtue of our charter and the uh, restrictions it reflects, Danville has very limited borrowing power. <clears throat> we do this every year uh, to open the opportunity to issue bonds and as the vice mayor has pointed out, not to lose the opportunity of both uh, fiscal years. Um, we do know that uh, we anticipate bringing to council a bond issue that would be restructuring, <clears throat> not refinancing, but restructuring an outstanding bond issue which will reduce our uh, uh, debt service payments in the next fiscal year uh, and subsequent fiscal year. So this is a perfunctory <clears throat> but necessary step to allow council to borrow all the money that is allowed under the city charter, but each bond issue will be considered, a public hearing will be conducted, and a decision made on its own merits. We had uh, our limit set for this current year, but we never saw fit to, to go into that. So just because it's there, I think you ought to trust council a little more because it's all going to, each one will be on its own individual merits. And I see your point. If you make it three million, you can't spend four. But uh, we, we want to keep it as flexible as we possibly can. We have some big things and hopes for our future out there at that mega park. And the fact that we, I don't know the difference in refinancing, and, but uh, saving money on some existing loans. Okay, I think I saw Fred's hand. Yes. Uh, I, I, you know, when I first read the ordinance here, I too shared the same concern. Uh, it wasn't real clear in some of the things that I read, and I'm not talking about the staff report here. The staff report specifically is talking about what's on, on the table right now, and the five million or so that we've got in the CIP, which whether you like it or not, the CIP was approved. Uh, and it also includes about uh, uh, reduction in expenses by refinancing of, as you mentioned, six hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars. So you see the large number and the large number that is here tonight is spread across all the different funds, including electric department in case something were to come up, catastrophic uh, gas, all the different utility enterprise funds and the general fund. So Hopefully, um, as in the past, we wouldn't tap into any or anywhere near the size that's being discussed tonight. It leaves flexibility for the city in case something were to come up catastrophic or some economic development issue came up that was worthy. I know last year there was discussion by, by city council on raising, going to the General Assembly and raising our bond limit, the amount we could borrow without coming to the citizens. And that did not get passed. So Danville continues to be one of the more conservative cities in the state with regard to ability to borrow money without going to the citizens. So I just want to say I, I feel comfortable with it. I, I don't think, I don't foresee ever going to that number, but it does give us some flexibility. Just hope we don't have to use $36 million. But I, I think if we do, it, like you say, it's going to be because of something really bad. Any other comments on this? Okay, let's move on uh, to consider for first reading of the uh, amending of the fiscal year 2012 budget appropriation ordinance to provide for a grant from the Tobacco Region uh, Revitalization Opportunity Fund an amount of $420,000 for hybrid vehicles of Danville, Inc. To hear motion. Mr. Campbell. Ms. Vice Mayor, move for ordinance amending the fiscal year 2012 budget appropriation ordinance by increasing revenues for tobacco region revitalization opportunity fund in amount of $420,000 to further economic development and create jobs on appropriate the same. Seconded by Mr. Shanks. That was the first reading, but would you have any comments or questions at this time? 
will be on our agenda next time. Well, that's going to wrap up the short meeting. The long one is yet to come. So I'll ask for any communications. First, city manager. Uh, none this evening, thank you. Not yet, okay. City attorney. Uh, nothing this evening, Mr. Vice Mayor. Okay. Uh, city clerk. Nothing, sir. City call the roll. Reverend Campbell. Nothing. Mr. Gilstrap. Nothing. Mr. Jones. Nothing. Dr. Miller. Mr. Raleigh. Nothing tonight. Mayor Saunders. Mr. Shanks. Nothing. Mr. Toma. Nothing. Vice Mayor Luther. I'd just like to say that uh, the reason the mayor is not here is it's a planned trip that he's had for some time. He must attend, and it's not illness or anything. He is uh, actually working. I don't know if he's working at this time of night, but I know he's at a very important conference. And with that, I move. This meeting is adjourned.